All right, everybody, welcome to the In The Pink Team Call. We're so excited to have you here. And we have a very special guest tonight, um, one of my, I kind of call sideline power partners, Mary Ann Lewis, who is an Emerald Ambassador from South Carolina. So we love, like, East Coast. We know that we're always talking about how we're locking arms and going to take Plexus up and down the East Coast and make it um, as big and as exciting as it is out in Texas and the Southwest. So Mary Ann has a specialty in social media so she's got some really great information to share with us tonight on social media and social media tips um and so just respect her time and being a guest on our call tonight i want to kind of turn it over to her first to do the presentation and then i'll do all of our team announcements and all that good stuff towards the end so make sure you stay on um so you can find out all the cool things that are going on on the team right now because we got a, a lot of really neat stuff going so um Marianne, I'm just going to let you kind of take it away. I'm excited to hear what you got to tell us. But you're muted. Okay, so. awesome. <laughs> Hi, guys. I am so thrilled to be on this call with you guys and to be a guest. Um, thank you so much, Dawn, for, for having me on. I so, so appreciate you. And I remember when we first met at the Leaders Dinner, um, I guess it was two years ago, I don't know, maybe it was last year. It's all a whirlwind. Um, we just have <laughs> talked and I knew, I just love and adored you then. So, um, and I'm so glad that we are now Sister Emeralds um, and we get to go to Hawaii together. <laughs> very, very thrilled about that. Um, I'm gonna give you just a little snippet of my journey um, just cause I just, um, I'm so, God has so blessed so blessed me on this journey and I just would love to share a little bit of my journey with you guys. Um, before Plexus, I was a hot mess. Um, I had been a single mom of four children, four beautiful children, and I had been living in Atlanta um, before I moved to South Carolina with my four children as a single mom. Um, I had had a career in an advertising world as an advertising executive um, after a divorce from my ex-husband and basically was between, I mean, I loved my job. It was great. But between the commute of an hour and a half, hour to an hour and a half one way, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Atlanta, but the traffic can be horrendous. Um, and basically not making that much money. Um, ending, uh, leaving a divorce or, or having a divorce and leaving a marriage with absolutely nothing. There was no 401k. There was no savings. There was no house. There was, I mean, nothing. Um, and not a lot of support from my, from the children's father. It was tough. Like it was really, really tough. And I came from a, a family. I came from um, a family. My dad was a doctor and I'm, um, you know, all this stuff. And I ended, I found myself struggling doing things that I never ever thought that I would ever find myself doing. Um, I came to South Carolina, started my own business doing website design and development and social media management. Um, and if anybody has ever started their own, I mean, it was just a little business, um, started their own business, it's, it's rough and you never know who's going to pay you when you're working 24 million hours a day, right? I was also working at Bath and Body Works making $7 an hour um, to help pay for things. And while that was a lot of fun, that took me really away from my family um, even more. And I was cleaning houses. I found myself on food stamps on Medicaid, um, not knowing how I was going to put gas in my car, like, you know, robbing the kids piggy banks. Has anybody ever done that? You know, with the intention to pay them back and, and, and they've all been paid back now. But, um, you know, and just, I was really, I was really at a point of desperation when I say that Plexus found me. Um, Kendra Randolph, who was a diamond ambassador, she and I were doing life together and she basically introduced me to Plexus and, um, I'm so forever grateful to her. Um, and I knew within the first week or two that this stuff was, was legit. I was feeling better. Um, I had been a Diet Coke addict. You know, we can all afford things, right, when we really want them. You know, so I, had to, I was a two Diet Coke a day girl. And, and, um, and so I knew I, I, I haven't had a Diet Coke in two years. I'm off my Prozac, like off, um, you know, my insomnia medication, Ambien and Benadryl. And within that first month, I went silver. And it's just kind of blossomed ever since then. And really it has just, God has blessed me with this amazing business and with the best team ever in the history. So I am, you know, just went Emerald last month and I'm so thankful. Um, and 
so excited. And there's so much more to that story, but I just wanted to give you the idea that, you know, I was able to step away from everything. Like it's just, I've been blessed beyond belief. So that's just a little of my story. So, and it took me a while y'all to, to tell that story. Cause I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed to tell that story. And it took me about a year and a half to really come out and tell that story. So to the full, to the full extent. So, um, thank you again. So just, that was just a little bit about me. Okay. So Facebook and social media, I'm kind of self-taught. So I just know enough to be dangerous, right? But it's kind of people on my team and um, Kendra's downline and um, Haley's downline kind of know that that's my specialty is um, Facebook. And it's one of the things, it's how I launched my business. It's how I started my business. And if you are not presently sharing on Facebook, um, I would encourage you to do so. Okay. And to do so consistently. Okay. Still, even after two years, I am still getting ambassadors. I am still getting customers. And y'all, I got a new ambassador this month that has been watching me for two years. So that consistency is huge. Now there's different types of effective and non-effective Facebook posts. And I'm sure you guys are well aware of some of those, um, Dawn, right? You guys go through like the billboard ads and, and not to post your website and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, but it's all good reminders. We always have new people coming onto our calls. So we've got a lot of seasoned people that would know it, but we've got new people. So I would say, you know, cover the basics and also cover the more advanced stuff. We will all get a lot from it. Awesome. Okay. So basically there's effective and non-effective ways to post on Facebook. Um, the first thing to, to, to know is, is to actually do it like to post. Okay. And I know it can be scary at first, you know, a lot of times you come out and you're like, Oh my gosh, what are people going to think? What are, you know, what are, what are they going to say? Like my friends are going to unfriend me and unblock, you know, block me and this and that. And, and honestly, like just to be very, very almost blunt, if, they or your true friends are going to support you in what you're doing. Okay. And if they see how it has changed your life, if they see, and even if they haven't, even if they, you know, even if you don't have a testimony yet, you have so many people on your team that have amazing testimonies that it's almost a sin not to share these amazing products the way I kind of look at it. I think it's, it's a, there's a mindset thing behind it. Um, so the, the one thing is to do it. The second thing is how to do it. Well, actually, let's talk about why. Why do we post on Facebook? Why do we post on Facebook? Facebook is like, you know, like 100 years ago when we tried to wash clothes. Well, actually, I didn't. I wasn't alive 100 years ago. But, you know, it was a chore, right? It took a long time. Like, we had to, they didn't have dryers. And my grandmother never had a dryer. You know, she had to hang everything out. And it was an all-day process, right? So what we have now are these amazing things that God gave us called washing machines which is great. And if we're really fortunate, then we have a laundress that does them, you know, but no, I, we're not there yet. But, um, you know, it's an accelerator. It's the same thing with social media. It's the same thing with Facebook. And it's the same thing with technology. Our technology is at our fingertips and social media is as well. And it's an accelerator to get the word out about what we're talking about at a quicker rate. Um, so, but how we do it, that's why we do it, but how we do it is really important because people are friends with us on Facebook because they know us, they like us, they trust us, they want to be our friends, right? So showing them how personally Plexus is helping us and helping our friends is really, really important. Billboard ads, those really pretty graphics that say like with a choo-choo train that says, get on the train for $34.95, you know, join my team. Okay, so those really look like advertisements, right? And people, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but when I go to bed at night, the last thing that I think about is, oh man, I wish I'd seen another ad, <laughs> right? So people don't want to know about that. They want to know about you and what's going on in your life. So to make the post as personal as possible, you know, even you don't even have to say plexus a lot of times. You can talk about how much energy you have, how much energy you have playing with your kids. Like, um, you know, what, oh my gosh, I slept so much better last night. I'm so glad in 10 years I haven't slept this great. You know, like you're planting all those seeds um, or even with just a hashtag of like, you know, Plexus rocks or, or something like that. Um, it's really, really important just to keep it personal. It doesn't have to be this really long testimony or anything like that. Um, the other thing is, is, is to make them consistent. 
okay, um, to make them consistent. I tell my team, Dawn, I don't know, I don't want to compromise what you're teaching, but I tell my team twice a day for a plexus post. You know, post about plexus twice a day, um, but you've got to work in your other, you know, your cat post and your kids post and your this post and your that post within those posts. We don't want to come out and all we're doing is posting about plexus. People are going to block us. People are going to get annoyed. Okay, so that's why we want to make it personal and we want to integrate different plexus, I mean, different personal posts that are non-plexus within that. Okay, so um, billboard ads are not effective is what's my point in that. The second thing is, is do, do not share your website. Okay, there's a number of reasons not to share your website. Number one, according to um, Facebook, it looks salesy and it looks like you're trying to sell something. You can go to Facebook jail for putting your website out there and quote unquote selling something. Um, secondly, it doesn't serve our customers or our potentials very well. And we are, I mean, I, I consider we are servant leaders. You know, we are serving the people that we are talking to. We are serving them to help them in finding the best products that are effective for them. What do they need? Um, how, you know, what is best for them? And then the other thing is, is, you know, we don't want somebody who has, who's on five different cardiac or heart medications to go purchase the accelerator or the boost, right? Because those are not designed for people who have blood pressure issues and, and heart issues, right? So there's, those are the reasons not to put your website out there. And I can tell you, and I'm sure Dawn can as well, I have seen many ambassadors do this and no ambassadors on my team that are successful gold, senior gold, rubies have, have been consistently doing that. I don't, I'm sure Dawn can probably say the, say the same thing. Um, so, so that, that is huge. Um, one of the big things on Facebook that I think a lot of us lose sight of is we kind of expect that we're going to post on Facebook and the floodgates are going to open and we're going to be diamond, right? Like we're going to post one, two, three times or, you know, for a week and we're going to be like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm going to be gold. Like somebody, you know, da -da. and, and that's, it's, it's not going to happen. I mean, it's, it's, that expectation is false. Um, a lot of times, a lot of times it takes that consistency out there to get people to, to come in and, and come into your, hold on one second. Sorry, child came in and left the door open. So, um, so anyway, what was I saying? Um, oh, I lost my train of thought, Dawn. You were saying that it takes a while, consistency, that sometimes yeah. it, you're planting the seeds and it takes a while. Yes, yes, yes. And if people do not like and comment on your posts, guys, they are watching. I promise you. Like my last four customers that I've gotten have never once commented or liked on anything. Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about Facebook algorithms. Does anybody, do y'all know about Facebook algorithms? Okay, so um, basically, you know how you go to, like, let's say you go to Amazon.com. And you search for a pair of shoes. I just did this for my daughter's pageant, which is why I'm using this example. You search for a pair of shoes. And then you pop over to Facebook. And you know how you see on the right-hand side? You see those shoes. Like, those shoes are like, it's like magic. It's like, how did they know that, right? It's, it's kind of creepy, right? So, um, so anyway, that's basically Google Analytics. That's, that's algorithms. Facebook knows what you're, you know, you're looking at, what you want to see, and they market you that way. Um, well, the thing is, is Facebook knows, do you guys realize, do you guys notice how your, your Facebook feed fills up with Plexus people and all you see is Plexus posts in your Facebook, um, newsfeed. Okay. So the same thing is going on there. Facebook is saying, Oh, I want to see Dawn's post. Well, I, you know, I like, I like Dawn's post. I comment on it. I like it. And Oh, I like Susie over here. Who's on my team. And I like Brittany on my team. And I've got, you know, I've got all these people on my team. And so my newsfeed starts to fill up with these Facebook posts. So basically you have to be very, very intentional to go and use your list of 100 to make sure that you are focusing on those non plexus people. Okay. So, if anybody does not know what a list of 100 is, basically it's a list of 100, and, and 100 sounds daunting, but 100 people that you know go through your Facebook friends, go through your contact list on your phone, go through like your daily life, the banker, your hairdresser, your, you know, that Frank's list, your friends, relatives, acquaintances, all that stuff. Go through and make a list of all those people, okay? All those people are potential ambassadors, potential customers, 
Okay. So that you've got to be intentional on those people's Facebook walls because with Facebook algorithms, if I am intentional on somebody's Facebook wall, they are more likely to see what I'm posting because Facebook says, Oh, she wants to see Susie's whatever post. So therefore Susie's going to show up in the newsfeed. Okay. So there's a number of ways to do this. First off is with happy birthdays, wish everybody a happy birthday every single day, every day. No excuse. It should be on your DMO daily method of operation. Okay. Um, and it's easy. It's like, it takes you two seconds, you know, copy and paste, happy birthday, write something. If you can connect with them even better. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you since high school. You look fabulous. Happy birthday. I can't believe we're 40, whatever. Takes you two seconds. Okay. Facebook is all about being a friend. Okay. A like is like a high five. Take the time and comment on somebody's non, -ple non plexus person's post and a plexus person. But you know, we want to make our time as income producing as possible, of course. Okay. So be intentional with those non plexus people. Take your 100 list, make a friends list. I don't know if y'all know how to make a friends list. Um, I've got it on my YouTube channel. I did a video last week on how to make a friends list on Facebook, but it's how I organize my people to be intentional with those non plexus people. Um, I take, take your list of 100, take your top 20 people and put them on your dream team list and make a friends list on Facebook. And I won't go through it here, how to do it, but there, there's a video on my YouTube channel, okay? But that way, your newsfeed is just those 20 people and you can intentionally go through on your DMO every single day and figure out what they're doing, commenting, liking on their posts, so therefore they see when you post those Plexus posts, okay? Um, that, that is huge. Um, let's see. Um, 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 um. Oh, doing engaging posts. Okay. Do you guys talk about doing an engaging post? Okay. So do you, an engaging post is something where you ask an opinion of somebody. Okay. You say, okay, should I wear the blue shoes or the red shoes? Or, um, I did one today. I actually wanted to know, but we're going to Myrtle beach for spring break and they're talking about bacteria in the water. I mean, you know, people love to give advice. Okay. They love to tell you their opinion about something. Okay. So I would suggest once a week, at least once a week, if not twice a week, do some sort of engaging post. So what happens with Facebook algorithms is they say, okay, wow, they're, wow. They, they've got five comments on here and about 20 likes. Ooh. Okay. So it's like a ripple effect. You know, like when you throw a rock in the, in the lake and it has the ripples. Okay. It's like the ripple effect. So Facebook says, okay, wow, they want to see this post. So it goes out to even further in your newsfeed. Wow. Okay. There's now there's 20 comments. You know, people are really getting involved. They're really liking this. So more people need to see this because obviously it's really interesting. So Facebook puts it out even further. So do you ever wonder why you see somebody's profile picture that has 241 likes and you've never, ever seen a post that they've ever put out? That's exactly why, because it goes further out into the news feeds. We can't see all one, 500 people, friends that we have, a thousand friends that we have. We cannot see all that. So that's how Facebook does all that. So those engaging posts are very, very important to help your own Plexus posts get seen more. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, and use each other. Y'all friend each other on Facebook. Like this, we, it is one plexus. We are a team. Um, you know, Dawn and I are sideline power partners. Like find somebody either, you know, if you're a leader, if you've got ambassadors on your team, make sure that your ambassadors are connected and you guys are liking and commenting on each other's posts um, just to increase that engagement, increase that visibility because more likes and comments means more visibility. All right. And don't tag a bunch of people y'all like I, I don't know that that's my that's my that's my rule on my my team but like please don't don't tag me on 18 different posts you know like where you tag it's like testimonial tuesday and you tag 20 people and you know it's just i don't know it's just it's kind of hard to keep up like the more and more and i don't know if dawn you agree with that or not but it's just kind of hard to hard to keep up private message people like i find that like a private message to a group like your you know your core group hey do you guys mind going to like and comment on my post i mean unless you're talking about somebody like unless i'm sharing dawn testimony and I'm like oh my gosh my friend Dawn like you know look how fabulous did it and I'll tag her 
right? Like that's, that's, that's different. Um, Dawn, yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't think we've ever actually trained on that specific, that big tag thing. I know personally, I have a tendency to, to feel like it takes so much time. I don't, I don't know. I'm not real big on commenting on them, but I've never trained on it. So that's good information to have. So thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. We've never talked about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I just like, I mean, I love the intentionality of commenting on people's posts. Um, I, you know, I've got one of my friends lists are my, my leaders. I want to know what my leaders are doing. I want to know what my leaders are, are posting on. Um, and I've got them marked as close friends. So I get notified when my top 20%, my leaders post, I automatically get notified. All my level ones who are working it, I mark them as a close friend. I get notified. Do you guys know how to do that? Do you want me to show? Do y'all know how to do that? Do you want me to share my screen? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be okay. really helpful. Okay. Um, okay. So let me go down. Let me share my, can I share my screen? Okay. So how to make, do you want me to, I'll go through like how to make somebody a close friend. Uh -huh. And that means you get notified when they post something. Okay. And then I can share with you where to find out how to start your friends list. And then you can look at the video. The video's there. Um, so hold on with me. If we just if we just look for your name and we'll find it, Marianne? Yeah. We'll just um, look for your name. Okay. Yeah, let me close all these out. Okay. So can y'all see my screen? Mm-hmm. Okay. So um whoops. Okay. So what am I doing? Okay. Um, let me go here and we can see. Okay, Brittany Atwell is one of my, um, well, let's see. Well, I can get, you see how I can get notifications? Uh -huh. I can make her a close friend. This is every time she posts, I'm notified. So if I go over here, I can say, okay, Erin Kramer is one of my level ones. I get notified every time she posts. Allison Porter is in my top 20%. Um, Jeremy's another level one. Deborah Jones is somebody I'm following. You know, so I can go and I know when they post. So mm -hmm. I can see and quickly go and comment and like on whatever it is they're posting. All right. So to make a friends list, um, to be intentional, you're going to come over here to your friends right here. Mm -hmm. You're going to click on friends and we're going to create a list. All right. So these are my potentials. And when I go here, well, that's not right. Oh, I was probably using this. I'm like, why is Alicia McKee on my potentials list? It's probably, I made this for an uh, example. But anyway, so, okay, let me go back. Let's start over. All right, so we've gone over here to our, to our friends, all right? We can create a list. I can name it, let's say, I don't know, Dawn's, I'm just doing Dawn's team. And I can add whoever I want. I'm just adding random people that come up. Um, okay, and I can create my list. Now, everybody that's on my news feed are those people that I just picked. I'm not gonna see anybody else's posts. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay. So do you just, when you want to see them, then you go to that list. That's how you do it? So then I go, yeah, I can go over here to my okay. friend. Mm -hmm. I can go to Dawn's team and here it is. So what shows up on your general news feed? Just the same randomness? General news feed is just, the, say, yeah, same random. random. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I can be intentional with my, like my potentials. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like here are my potentials. I can go through, okay, you know, here's, you know, okay, Tammy, I'm, she's one of my potentials in, in, Texas. Okay. I definitely, you know, I definitely want to like on something. Here's another potential from high school. Like I definitely want to comment on it or like something that these people are doing because if I comment and like on these people say she, yeah, she needs, I've been talking to her. So we need to do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, and she's already doing selfies. I mean, really? So she totally needs to, she's going to get a call from me later. All right. So, you know, and then I can just be intentional. I can see what they're doing. I can comment and like on it. And therefore they're more likely to see mine, my post. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. okay. All right, so, um, okay. 
So there you go. Good I'm stuff. To... Okay. What else I can show you? How much time do I have? 9.58. No, I'm not even keeping track. Okay. Um, does everybody know how to make a favorite, a team page a favorite? Yes. I know. Okay. Well, I know how to do that, but that's a good one. That's a good one. So remove from favorites, add to favorites. So you, your groups. Um, and these all right here are favorites. So you see them, you know, they're more organized. Um, let's see, what else can I teach you? Um, 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 oh, let's talk about searching. Okay, this is a good one. So let's say that um, somebody comes to you and they say, you know what, I'm on, um, I don't know, I've got fibromyalgia and you're, you're talking to them and, and you want to show them a testimony or you want to find out um, something about fibromyalgia. Okay, so I can go to here and I can search. Hello, if I can spell it. Plexus fibromyalgia. All right. Now I can do, these are the top posts that come up about plexus and fibromyalgia with the keywords. Um, we've got videos, videos about plex, you know, fibromyalgia and plexus. All right. We've got pages that deal with it. Groups. You can join and get some information, that sort of thing. This is a great tool. I use this a lot with, like, if somebody gives me a, um, let's just do Prozac, a, a medication that I don't know what it is. I know Prozac because I was on it. Hello. Um, but a lot of times I'll go and I will search for something, you know, search for a medication so I can see, okay, what was that? Like, you know, what is that about? That sort of thing. Oh, look, there's me. See, that was mine. Okay. So, um, so anyway, does that make sense? Yeah, that's good. Yes. I hadn't done to that extent. I had, didn't realize you could actually get videos and photos and yes. oh my God, just, awesome. that yeah. is wonderful. Look at that. I've been doing this for two years. I'm Emerald. I didn't know this stuff. This is so great. You're so funny. So um, that is a great way to find information out about anything. The thing is, is too, you know, I mean, you, you know, you can even search on the, the team pages. You know, this is my team page. Okay. Let's search for objections. Okay. Search for objections. All the posts that I've ever done that have the word objections. I did a call on objections, like anything that comes up. There's another one I did, you know, comes up with that word. So you can find, you know, because I mean, Dawn's got a team page that's been around for quite a while. I've got a team page that's been around for quite a while. And, and the new people aren't going to see all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can search for those keywords. Um, so, um, oh, okay. I'll, let's see. I'll take you down the uh, technology path just a little bit if you want. Mm -hmm. Are you good with that? Okay. Yeah, yeah definitely. Good I did stuff. a whole thing on uh, technology. Um, let's see. Okay. Has anybody ever had trouble um, with trying to sign somebody up and it doesn't work? Right? Like it's, it's just not working. Like you can't get to the website, right? Like you can't get them signed up, right? Um, one of the things that you want to try is to switch browsers. All right. So if you're using Internet Explorer and it's not working, go to Google Chrome, go to Firefox. Um, if you're on a droid, um, there's, a, there's a search engine called Opera, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, and you can download those apps on your phone. So those are, those are really good. That's a, that's a little trick that I've, that I've used. Um, let's say, uh, la, la, la. YouTube should be your friend. Always, always should be your friend. Um, but yeah, if you just search my name on YouTube, mm -hmm. like, you'll be able to find me. Um, Zoom, obviously. I'm going over, we did presentation, Kendra and um, I and uh, two other girls that are one Emerald, two, well, I guess we're all Emeralds now, Aaron Morgan and Tracy Cohen. We do um, an equipping tour um, down here in South Carolina and we did, I did the whole like technology aspect of it. Um, how to use your, your phone and how to use your computer to kind of organize and to really get, like I have in my notes section of my phone, always save your website address in your notes section of your phone. Um, your until you memorize your ambassador number, um, save your save customer services number as a favorite, as a phone number favorite. Don't message your upline on what I mean. One time you get one time, one freebie, one freebie. That's it. 
know? No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. But seriously, save it in your phone. Um, 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 um. But the notes section, I use my notes section a lot of my phone. Like I've got, um, and I, I organize it. I group them. Like I've got a testimonies folder in, under my notes and I've got different people's testimonies. Like, you know, I've got Deborah Nelson's fibromyalgia testimony. Deborah joins, uh, diabetes testimony. Um, you know, that kind of thing to where I have it readily available if I need it. I also have YouTube links within my phone. Um, so I have, you know, the product video. I've got Ame Darling's Triplex. I've got that one. Oh, what was that one, Dawn? It was on Rock the Pink. It was the girl. I, I couldn't listen to the whole thing because I'm not a detailed person at all. Like, I'm, but it was really medically, like, about why, you know, Plexus works so well for your body. Anyway, I always ask people before I send that to them, I'm like, are you a detailed person? Like, do you like all those like details? Because I'm not, and I'm not going to bore you with that. But if you are, they, oh my gosh, they so appreciate that video. I can't remember what her name is. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen that. No, yeah. I don't know. I think I have it saved. I have it saved on my YouTube channel under one of my playlists. But, um, but anyway, so I've got all those YouTube videos saved so that I don't have to, I don't have to waste my time trying to find the videos again. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. um, so I think that's, that's really helpful. Um, using your calendar, use your calendar on your phone as well as your working calendar. If you don't have a working calendar, get one. Like that's your next step is to get a working calendar um, to help with follow-up. To help with, um, like a lot of times I'll use my calendar. I feel like I'm all over the place, but I get so passionate and like excited about this stuff. A lot of times I'll use my calendar if I'm talking to Sally and Sally's getting married or her sister's getting married in two months, I'll go into my calendar and I'll make myself a reminder about her the week that her sister's getting married. Because it's not that I don't forget. It's not that I, but we are in a people business. We are in a relationship business, but we have a lot of things going on in our life. And it's really, I mean, I like to be thoughtful, you know, that way. And me, I'll forget if I don't write it down. So. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what you said, a working calendar, do you just use the calendar that comes on your phone or do you have a special calendar app that you use? That's no, better. I use an actual physical calendar. I mean, I have got the Erin Condren calendar. Oh, I you're use. talking about, oh, not like your phone calendar, like a real calendar. Well, I use my phone calendar as well. I use my phone calendar for like little things like I just said. Mm -hmm. um, and just to remind me, like I've got, you know, people that I follow up with. I'll put it in there just to remind, alert me, but I'll also put it in my working calendar because I like to be able to see it. You know, mm -hmm. I like to be able to touch and feel it and write it down and erase it and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I would definitely get a calendar calendar. Cause it, I love that though. I hadn't thought of that. Like putting in, Oh, someone's having surgery, mm -hmm. put it in your calendar and get a reminder so you can remember to send them a little note. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Cause I mean, we are in the relationship business and we mm -hmm. are, and it's not that we don't, it's not like we're like manipulating it at all. It's just that we get busy and I would hate to forget something so important, you know, to, to mm -hmm. show somebody some love, it, regardless of whether they're a plexus ambassador or not. I mean, I, this is something I did pre-plexus. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah, you're a super friend. We had a trainer. You, you might know her, Alyssa, Elizabeth Credno. Have you heard of Elizabeth? She's just, I think she's a Ruby or senior Ruby in Maryland. And she did a presentation on social media for us at a live training and she called it being a super friend. It was really cute. You know, oh, you I love to be a super that. Friend. <laughs> I love that. So we've all been trying to be super friends lately, you know, oh, cute. going over and beyond. So this was, this was really good, Marianne. Excellent information. I'd love to know if anybody has any questions of specifically for Marianne while we have her. Um, she's just a, a a wealth of information. Anybody? You can live talk if you want to unmute yourself or you can send it through chat. No. Yeah, talk to me. Talk to me. Somebody asked me a question. Make me feel special. <laughs> oh, we got, everybody's going to be shy. Okay. Who's that? Amy Hayes. She's been engaging with me and smiling. Surely she has a question. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm oh, the best. Cool you out, <laughs> I got lots of rock stars on today. All these, all of everybody's looking to see. I've got some good Facebook really people on here. 
Hello. Hi. Oh, she's got a question. I just want to confirm that what you covered tonight is in all of that is indeed on your YouTube channel. Uh, should be. <laughs> okay, great. So I'll go there and I can take my time and really get the steps down. Yeah, it's in a number of different videos. Um, I did a whole almost two hour training with Kendra on technology and social media that we, it was like a Google live event that we tried to record because it was live. I was doing it live. So um, that would probably be a really good one. Um, but there's a number of different videos on social media there as well as also. Thank you. So. Good deal. Yes. And for my team, we um, probably most people that you talk to that are diamonds, sapphires, emeralds in the company will say that they've built most of their business on social media and Facebook. So becoming a student of social media, even if it's something that intimidates you a little bit or you're maybe not comfortable with, but deciding and being intentional about be getting better at it will absolutely help your business. So it's one of those personal development things. If it's not your strong point, you just want to make sure that you listen to things like this, go to her you know, channel and really, really invest in learning. Yeah, and I find that really honestly for people, because I've had a number of people on my team who are not savvy with social media, are not savvy with computers or even technology or phones in general, and it can be scary. Mm -hmm. It can really be scary because it's just that unknown. Um, but and you don't have to know everything all at once. The key is, is to be consistent, number one, with posting, but consistent with a little thing at a time, right? Mm -hmm. um, and learn one thing at a time and get good at that and, and then add something else on there, you know? Mm -hmm. It's all, it's all a learning process. Yeah. Yeah. And the biggest thing is, and you touched on the beginning, is just being yourself, you know, mm -hmm. and just being yourself because yourself is the one that people love that are friends with. And so if you can always kind of go back to that basic, well, I'm just going to go and put myself out there and be myself. And then all of the, the ins and the outs and the pages and the how to do it, you know, that all will come, but just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Right. Right. And you know, and that's hard too sometimes. I mean, going out of your side of your comfort zone, right? Yeah, definitely. Really definitely. like a selfie, you know, I mean, a lot of people aren't selfie people, but mm -hmm. I can tell you that your before and after pictures or a mm -hmm. picture of you with your pink drink, y'all, that's going to get you, a, oh my gosh, blue jeans. Hello. Like blue jean pictures, like lay your blue jeans on top of each other. Okay. The bigger blue jeans to the smaller blue jeans. I don't know what it is about blue jeans. Like it's crazy. That's funny. That's good. Um, oh, well, good. Oh. I'm sorry, Marion. you talked a lot about Facebook. Um, do you partake in like Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and all the other social medias or do you just focus on Facebook? Um, I have, like I use, um, I use Hootsuite sometimes. I don't know if y'all. Oh, that was going to be my next question. Are you, are you a fan of that? Um, to an extent, I'm a fan of Hoots. I love Hootsuite. Okay. For y'all that don't know what Hootsuite is or every post or buffer, um, they're basically tools and apps that you can use to schedule your posts. So if you're going out of town and you don't want to not be consistent with your posting, but you're like on some deserted Island somewhere or something, um, well, first off, don't post your blue jean picture when you go out of town. Okay. So like, <laughs> just, you know, because you'll get, um, but you can schedule your post to go out to next Tuesday at four or next Thursday at two or something like that. Um, I've found that that's very helpful with uh, like Aaron Morgan and I, who's another just Emerald last month, we're sidelines and we're besties. She, we have a lot of the same followers. So I love what she posts sometimes, but I don't want to post it right when she posts it. Right. We, we I, so I'll, I'll save it and I'll schedule it for a month later. Mm -hmm. I use that for my calendar as well too. Um, so, you know, and Hootsuite, I do a lot of times, you know, especially when I was, you know, when I go out of town for my team page, I can schedule like just, some, you know, trainings and stuff like that just to kind of go on. Um, so, yeah. And what did, what was the other part of that question? Uh, were you a fan or do you partake oh, in other social media and like Instagram and Pinterest and stuff? Um, yeah, I do. I do do that. Um, a lot of times I do that more for like Google analytics kind of stuff. That's where my social media background comes from, but I will post on Instagram. Um, sometimes I've never, I mean, I've never gotten a hit off of Instagram. Um, I've never, I've gotten people repinning my Pinterest stuff, but I've never really gotten any inquiries, but I also think that it takes seven 
eight, nine touches before somebody's ready to make a decision. And that could possibly be one of those touches. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yes. Facebook has always been, you know, my, that's, that's how I've, I've built my, built my business. Um, favorite for that. Um, on my phone, I love every post on the computer. I love Hootsuite. So I use Hootsuite when I did social media management. I actually have two clients still. I have a dentist um, and I schedule, they have, I do um, meet the staff member Monday. Well, I have them all scheduled for the entire year, so I don't have to touch it, you know. Yeah. So. I need to become friends with Hootsuite. <laughs> now, I mean, there is, you know, you got to think about it too, though. A lot of times when you put those posts out there, it says buffer. It says right. every post. Well, I would use it like you suggested, like out of town. I think it right. takes away from the genuine part if you use it every single day, just kind of like if you go tag 20 people right. about, hey, tell me it's Testimony Tuesday. You tag everybody. It no longer is really genuine than just people seeing it. Right. Yep. And it's the same thing with testimonies, guys. You know, I mean, if we're, if we teach them so well to post testimonies all the time, like somebody's testimony and it's got the picture of the before and after, and it's got the, you know, the wording that eventually turns into, it looks like an ad. You know, if we don't make that testimony personal, if we don't, I, I don't know, I just, I feel there needs to be a space out between, I mean, testimonies doesn't need to be all that you post. It's got to be something fun. You've got to touch all four color personalities you know, your blue, reds, yellows, and greens, you've got to touch all those people. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Excellent info. Mary Ann, this was wonderful. I've got pages of notes. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. When I can just dig in and learn something brand new and then take it away and really put it into action. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was wonderful. I appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, I do want to, um, so I do have a few announcements for you guys, if you guys can stay on for just a few more minutes. And so, Marian, you're certainly welcome to stay and hang out with us, but I'm sure you have a family and it's late and you want to get to them. So I just want to say thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you soon, I'm sure. Bye. Next week. Okay, bye. Thank you. Um, all right, awesome team. Let me go through. We are on March the 15th, and it is, it means we're halfway through the month. We've got just a couple more weeks. So I wanted to announce, let's see, make, let's do some quick recognitions. Halfway through the month, we've got, so I want to share the top five personal volumes so far. Um, the first one, we've got Erica Andrews at almost $2,000 PV. Number two is Missy Sacken. I'm not sure if she's here, but she's about $1,200. Um, Tamara, which I'm not sure, but Amy, you can tell me her last name because you know in the back office it's her business name. But Tamara is at $1,233. Who is it? Tamara Savoy. Savoy, yeah. She's, so she's got, she's on Miss, um, Amy's team. So is Erica. And then we have Beth Lane Fair at a, almost $1,200 and Joanna McGuire at um, a little over 1000 So excellent job, you guys, to be at 1000 and more, almost $2,000 and, you know, only halfway through the month. So awesome job getting out there. Um, we have the contest that's just ended today where, if you guys remember, if you added three ambassadors between March the 1st and today, you automatically get a bonus. And your bonus, we're calling it the mystery bonus. So it's going to range anywhere between $35 and on up, sort of depending on how your sponsors united to be able to offer the bonus. So we'll call it the mystery bonus. So later on tonight, I'm going to post and say, hey, if you added your three, comment here. So we'll be able to track and see, um, you know, who was able to partake in that contest. But keep adding, you guys. Keep sharing. Um, you know, it's not about the numbers. It's about really getting people involved. Because when people join as an ambassador, it takes their level of understanding to a whole new level. I mean, it really does. We love customers, of course. We love, love, love customers. Great customers become great ambassadors. But there is something about getting involved with the team page and the team calls and the community and really diving into understanding why Plexus works so well that happens at that ambassador level. So I think it's a really, um, you know, it's it's just it's a way to just to kind of take the changing of lives to a whole new level. Um, let's see. And a couple things I wanted to announce. We have a... Um, Missy Pitts, I don't know if she's still here. She told me when her meeting was. She has an opportunity meeting coming up in Virginia Beach on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm going to tell you, March the 22nd. So that is next week. 
next Tuesday. So you definitely, that's in Virginia Beach at the Holiday Inn. That's going to be a great meeting. So make it out to that. They're always open to everybody. Um, this Sunday, March the 20th, we're actually going to do an online opportunity meeting. It'll be sort of the, it'll be a part of the seven day challenge that's going on, but I'll open it up to the team. So if you want to invite people to that, what we'll do is we'll start it at nine o'clock. It'll run 30 minutes. So it'll be a live zoom where we'll share a couple testimonies, talk a little bit about the products. It'll be for potential. So it's a really great way to get somebody that you've been working with um, that just isn't, you know, also kind of on the fence to give them an opportunity, a different um, exposure and more sort of third party validation. So that's a really great way. We can fill that thing up. We can get up to a hundred people on that. Um, excited. Cindy Jones is planning a opportunity meeting in Chesapeake, Virginia on April the 4th at Why Not Pizza. So put that on your calendar and it's open to everyone. We have our seven day challenge going on right now. We'll be starting another one in a couple of weeks. If you don't know what that is, they're really great ways to be able to get those fence sitters to, to buy in. They buy a seven day trial for $25. And when we do a Facebook group, we call it a boot camp, and we give really great information during that. So it's a great way to educate your people. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? I kind of jotted some notes down as we were ending. Um, yeah, okay. The other things, a couple things, just save the dates. I want to make sure you guys get these things on your calendar. Looking ahead to May, we're going to do a, um, well, it's sort of tentative, but I'm just going to put it on, on your calendar. May the 13th and 14th, we're looking at doing a large training, much like we did back in January. I've already talked to some of the jewels that are down in like North Carolina, South Carolina, Atlanta, and I've already got some commitments from um, Emerald, Sapphires, and Diamonds that are come, going to come to Virginia Beach to do some training for us. So that would be really awesome. Um, so it'll be like, a, well, I think we'll do like a Friday night opportunity meeting and then a Saturday all day training. So even if you're out of town, if you've got plenty of notice, maybe you can make it work. Maybe you can make that work. I think that's going to be a great training. Um, and then on May the 7th, which is a weekend before, which is a Saturday, I'm going to be hosting a Plexus sort of appreciation party at my house. So it'll be a, a backyard thing, and then we'll have kids and spouses, of course, are all invited. So that'll be a fun sort of social thing that we'll do. And I think that was it. I think I got everything. I don't need to be recording anymore, so I'll stop.